Lane Mather Golf Course here, just outside of Sacramento. We recently had a lot of fires in the area, so you'll notice some kind of bad air quality here towards the end of the video. But I played a pretty decent round. Tee shot here on the first tee. Goes just a little to the right, still a little ways back, getting a hybrid here. Kind of block it out to the right, end up under a tree here around some roots. From here, I'm just hitting a little punch eight iron and actually executed it to perfection. Rolled up nice right up onto the green, about seven or eight feet pin high. Taking my time here. A little bit of dew on the greens, but and just push the putt out to the right a little bit. Tap in to start with a bogey. Moving on to hole number two, hit another decent drive. This one ends up right in the middle. Hitting a hybrid again here, just trying to lay up, put myself in a position for my third shot on this par five. From here, I'm hitting an eight iron in, and I hit a beautiful eight iron here. Ooh, nice. Proper club twirl. Put it just behind the pin, probably about 10, 11 feet down the hill for birdie. Oh, birdie. This one just creeps in for first birdie of the day. Gets me back to even. Here on this par three, I hit a decent shot right over the flag stick and something happened when it hit the green. It took a really weird kick to the right. Ends up a little bit long. I give the birdie putt a good knock here. Knock it past, probably about four feet. And this was just a terrible, terrible putt here. I just didn't give it enough pace. It ends up just one revolution okay, short. Tap in for a bogey here, back to plus one on the day. Ooh, that looks good. Tee shot here on number four. It's another decent one, right up the middle. You can kind of see the air quality is getting a little smoky here now. Second shot here, I'm hitting a, I think a four iron. Hit a little low shot, kind of caught a little heavy. Ends up just short of the, the green here, but right in line with the pin. Pitch up here with a little 60 degree wedge. I'm really not happy with it. Came up a little bit short. Even myself, the decent length par putt. But I hammer this thing home for par. Moving on to hole five. This is the worst tee shot of the day. Yank it left into the trees here. <laughs> Fortunate that it makes it through and I've got a window here. This uh, was not my intended line. I was going a little bit right of the tree, but as I say Got here, it. it worked out. Here is an interesting situation here. I'm lining up for my second shot. I'm still about 230 yards out. And all of a sudden, right before I'm about to hit, the ball comes flying oh, in out of nowhere. After the fact? No one on the tee yelled for until after it went past me. That's a, I show a little frustration there. A little frustrated that no one would give me the heads up here and watching it back in slow motion it comes really close to hitting me anyway i had to regroup step back up three woods kind of a club i struggle with most times and on this particular shot i absolutely crush it right down the middle i'm still like 240 out so i still come up a little bit short of the green but i'm thoroughly pleased with that have this to get up and down for a bogey using my 60 degree wedge here and make a decent chip. Just kind of rolls past the hole a little bit. Kind of leaving myself a little bit longer for bogey than I want. But on this particular day, my putter really bailed me out on numerous occasions. This was a decent bogey from that tee shot. Oh, Hole six, uh, I find the tree again. This one hits that overhanging limb. I was fortunate enough though that yeah, it kicked the right. right into the middle of the fairway, long way back. No, the I'm right. asking the guy if anybody saw it, because I never saw it come down. And this three wood was absolutely perfect. In fact, at one point I really thought I this might have had a chance to go it's in. It's on the green, but I don't know how close it got. I uh, saw it bounce and I can't see it now. Yeah, I was pretty pleased with this shot. Left myself about six feet for birdie here and really disappointed in that putt. Really should have capitalized on that. Hole seven, 160 yards, kind of a little slight downhill. Push it out to the right. 
Here again, I'm just chipping my 60 degree wedge. Get it up well, a little bit past the pin here, a little bit more for par than I want. Again, my putter was really working for me well that day. Oh, nice. Hole eight, 372 yard, par four. Kind of play a nice little fade right into the middle of the fairway here. Hitting an eight iron again from here. And this was another really good shot. Put it just under the flag. Pretty pump, little fist pump there. So I have a decent chance at birdie here. And it falls for me for my second birdie of the day. Back to just plus one on this par five here. In a groove now. A great tee shot just up the left side of the fairway here. I'm hitting a three wood here and I'm trying to get it everything I've got to get it up on the green kind of starts left works itself right ends up a little short but just a little chip here with my 60 degree again as I've mentioned before it's my favorite club and here I've got decent length for birdie another good opportunity and it just does catch a little piece of the lip but just slides on pass tap in for a par for a one over front nine Hole 10, I kind of always struggle on this hole. It's kind of a dog leg left. It's an interesting hole. And here, I just absolutely hit a terrible second shot. Just kind of low and runs up and stays in the fairway, but it's just a terrible shot. And then third shot, I end up catching a little fat. Comes up a little shorter than I want. We're on the green, a long way for par. Give it a good run, good speed. Just not the right line. Got a little three footer for bogey. And again, man, my putter was working well on this day. Moving on to hole 11, it's par three, 140 yards. Hit a decent shot, just pulled it left. It's short of the green, just in front of the bunker there on the left. Just chipping up again here with my 60. And decent chip, just left a little more length for par than I want. It'll make a great putt, little left to right break right into the center of the cup. Ooh, Moving on to hole 12, another par five. Hit a tee shot right down the middle here. Leave myself a decent length for a layup here. And I hit a little low, I don't know, fade, if you want to call it, slice. End up a little bit right hand side and some thicker rough here. Just trying to chip out with a pitching wedge here and catch it a little heavy and Pull it to the left, leave myself right here in front of the bunker, chip up here, 60 degree. I've got this to save a par and another decent length putt falls for me. Hole 13 is kind of a short par four. I hit a great drive right down the middle. Left myself with just a little flip wedge in here. And I'm not happy with the result. Catch it heavy. I'm on the green, but these are the situations where I really need to capitalize and get it close. I give my birdie putt a good opportunity though. Just come up just slightly short. Able to tap in for par here. I think we're still just two over at this point. Hole 14, 166 yards, slightly uphill. Come up a little short on this one as well. And uh, just not happy with this chip kind of run it past and i kind of rushed this putt a little bit i was trying to keep the pace of play going didn't really line it up too well but tap in for a bogey move to plus three going on to hole 15. hit another decent drive here leaving myself with just i believe a little gap wedge in from here on my second shot hit a great shot here just under the hole From here I've got another opportunity at birdie and there's no way I was leaving this one short. I blew this thing past a good five, six feet. A little tester for par and it falls. Here on hole 16, I yank my tee shot to the left, trying to cut back, but it does end up under these trees here. Forgot to hit record on the second shot. This is my layup right here. Yeah, as I say, unfortunately, I forgot to hit record on the second shot, which really is frustrating. 
I hit a nice little punch out with a hybrid laying up to this position. From here, I'm hitting a seven iron. You can hear me say go. I thought I was gonna come up short. I did end up pin high, pulled it to the left, left myself a long putt for birdie. It's a pretty straightforward putt, not a whole lot of break. It's all about getting the speed just right. And I nearly do just that, but do come up just slightly short. Playing partner here just gives me that par. I think I can make that tap in. Hole 17, play another fade up the left hand side, curls back into the fairway, leaving myself a good position. Got a lot of fairways on this day. I'm pretty happy about that. Second shot here, I kind of just push hybrid out to the right again. A little right of the pin high just to the right. Chip up from here. I'm not thoroughly pleased with this chip either. Left myself the decent length par putt. And I just hated this putt from the start. Never got it online. Tap in for a bogey. Go plus four. Move on to the last hole here. Oh, there you go. And Put finish out the day hitting a great drive right up the middle. This, this par four. Second shot, I'm just hitting a six iron in. And nice short. straight shot just comes up just a little short. In front of the bunker here. Got an up and down here for par. Chip up my 60 degree wedge. Again, it's my favorite. That and this club right here. My putter. About, I don't know, 10, 11 feet. Nice up and down to finish the round for personal best 76. So yeah, as I said there towards the end of the video, uh, this was my personal best round. Ended up shooting a 76, four over. Uh, I've worked really hard to improve in my game. I've really only been playing this game for going on seven years now, I think. I wasn't really introduced to this game until I moved back here to California. And a friend of mine, Dave, got me hooked on the game. And then my cousin, David, as well. So yeah, I've worked really hard on my short game. I'm not the longest hitter, but I feel like, you know, I can make up some shots with, with my short game. Uh, my goal this year was to break 80. This was the fourth time this year that I broke it now. Uh, and I'm glad that I got this one on film because this was a last minute decision to even go play here and I almost didn't even bring the cameras. Uh, it's a lot of work to, to record and do these editing uh, videos here. So I'm glad I did though because the first time I broke 80 I didn't have on film. So thanks for watching. Like the video, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. I appreciate you watching. Say bye, Bogey. Say bye, Bogey.